What's up, everybody? Hello and welcome to Not Your Average Meta, an MTG Commander channel dedicated to bringing you decks and commanders you wouldn't normally find in your average meta. This week's video is brought to you by our new channel sponsor, International MTG. If you're looking for competitive pricing on your favorite MTG cards old and new, be sure to check out the International MTG store and TCG player. Link in the description of this video. This week on Not Your Average Meta, we're bringing you another exciting four-player matchup we recorded down at the Hobby Horse a couple weeks back. We'd also like to shout out our second full-time channel sponsor for Season 3, The Hobby Horse. If you're ever in the Central Illinois area, be sure to stop in and check out the store as well as saying hi to Martin. This week's matchup features Ryan returning playing his favorite Aura Skyclave Hierophant Cleric deck, Foil making a special appearance playing his new Satoru Umazawa Big Creature Ninjutsu deck, Fall Growback playing his Ludwig Necrogenus Unblockable Creatures deck, and Justin playing his Ninjutsu Tribal deck being led by Yuriko the Tiger Shadow. Now the Refiners, let's step into the Thunderdome and see which deck will come out on top. Turn 1, Foil plays an island. Fog plays a tap dismal backwater gaining a life. Justin plays a command tower, and Ryan plays a plains. Foil plays a dark water catacombs and pays to cast a river sneak. Fog plays his own command tower, then casts a nightfall sprite. Justin plays a swamp, Ryan also plays a swamp. Foil plays a command tower before casting his commander, Satoru Umazawa. Fog plays a snow covered swamp, then swings his sprite at Justin for 1 damage. The Sin has him surveilling one card which he keeps on top of his library. He then casts a Talisman of Dominance and a Meta Thran Soldier. Justin plays an island and really hits hard times by having to hard cast his commander Yuriko. Ryan plays a Swamp that casts an Elite Spellbinder which he uses to target Foil. Foil plays an island before going to combat, attacking Fog with his River Sneak, and then ninjutsuing in Geth Lord of the Vault. The Sin has Fog taking 6 damage while Foil looks at the top 3 cards of his library, putting one of them into his hand. Fog plays a Snow Covered Island for turn to swing to Sprite at Foil for 1 damage. The Sin has him surveilling one card into his graveyard before he casts his commander Ludwig, which has a milling a card into his graveyard when he enters play. Fog then casts Tagum Scheming, which has him putting a card back on top of his library and the rest into his graveyard. Justin plays an island for turn that swings his commander at Ryan. Ryan doesn't block and Justin reveals the top card of his library, which has each of his opponents losing a life. He then casts a Universal Automaton and passes. Ryan plays another Plains for turn that taps up to cast his commander Aura. He then swings his Spellbinder Justin for 3 damage. Foil plays an island for turn before casting his trademark card, Midnight Clock. He then goes to combat swinging Geth at Ryan, who doesn't block and loses 6 life. Foil then casts Charter Course in order to draw 2 cards. Fog plays a Field of Ruin for turn before tapping out to activate Ludwig, where X is equal to 2. He then exiles 2 creatures from his graveyard and has Ludwig transform into Ulog, who is a copy of Cephaloid Pathmage with 2 plus and plus 1 counters. Fog then swings his Sprite at Ryan for 1 damage and is commanded Foil for 6 commander damage. He then surveils a card into his graveyard. Justin plays a Swamp for turn before swinging both his creatures at Fog. Fog then blocks Yuriko, which has Justin ninjutsuing in an Inkai, Servant of Oni. Fog then takes his 5 damage, and Justin puts to play the Invisible Stalker in Fog's graveyard. Justin then reveals the top card of his library, which has each of his opponents losing 7 life. Ryan draws and goes straight to combat, swinging both of his creatures at Justin, who doesn't block and takes the damage. Ryan then gains 3 life, and in his second main phase, he casts an Overloaded Dam, which wipes the board of all creatures, but thanks to his commander's trigger, he's allowed to return his Spellbinder back into play. Foil pays to recast his commander a second time, and then another one to cast a Tormented Soul. Fog pays to recast his commander a second time, which has a milling one card when he enters play. Justin recasts his Automaton, and then a Moonblade Shinobi. Ryan casts a Cabal Archon before going to combat, attacking Justin for 3 more damage. Foil goes to combat, swinging his soul at Justin before ninjutsuing in Jinkataxis Core Augur. This then triggers his commander, and he looks at the top 3 cards of his library while Fog destroys Jin with the prize of fame. Foil then puts a card to hand while Fog surveils 2 cards, putting them both into his graveyard. Foil then recasts his River Sneak and Tormented Soul. Fog plays his Snow Covered Island and taps out again to activate his commander, where X is equal to 3. He then exiles 3 creatures from his graveyard and has Ludwig transform into Ulog, who is a copy of his Invisible Stalker with 3 plus and plus 1 counters. Fog then goes to combat, swinging his commander Ryan for 7 commander damage. Justin pays a 2 life to play an untapped Watery Grave before he goes to combat, swinging both of his creatures at Ryan. Ryan then blocks one of them, so Justin and Jitsu's in Yuriko to replace the other unblocked creature. He then reveals the top card of his library, dealing 5 damage to each opponent. He then recasts his automaton a third time. Ryan just casts a Doom Necromancer and passes. 
On his upkeep, Foil's clock hits 12, so he shuffles his graveyard in his hand into his library before drawing 7 new cards. He then draws for turn and casts a preordain, which has him scrying 2 cards to the bottom of his library before he draws. Foil then swings his River Sneak at Fog and his Tormented Soul at Justin. Neither of them block, so Foil ninjutsu's in Alhamaret, High Arbiter. The sin is each opponent revealing their hand while it chooses the name of a non-lane card and Justin takes 5 damage. Foil then looks at his top 3 cards and puts one of them into his hand. He then recasts his Tormented Soul and his Serum Visions in order to draw a card and scry 2 more cards to the bottom of his library. Fog casts a Demir Informant, surveilling 2 cards into his graveyard. He then goes to combat and attacks Justin with his commander for 7 commander damage. Justin plays another island for turn that swings both of his creatures at foil, who blocks the automaton. Justin then reveals the top card of his library, dealing 1 damage to each of his opponents, before he then casts the Mist Cloaked Herald. Ryan casts Tabrix, Hope's Demise, and a Null Priest of Oblivion. He then swings his Spellbinder at Fog for 3 damage and passes. Foil draws and casts a Windfall, which has each of his opponents discard in their hands and drawing 5 new cards. Then before combat is declared, Justin casts a Murderous Cut to destroy Foil's commander in order to take away his ninjutsu abilities. Foil then proves a point by attacking Justin with his soul and then ninjutsuing in his own ink eyes. The sin is Justin taking 5 damage while Foil puts to play Justin's ink eyes, which has him sacrificing his own. Fog plays a Snow Covered Island that casts a Devourer of Memory, a Gudu Lurker, and an Aether Figment before it goes to combat swinging his commander at Foil for 7 more commander damage. Justin casts a Silver Fur Master, a Blighted Agent, and a Demir Infiltrator before he plays his land for turn and attacks Ryan with Yuriko. Ryan then double blocks, sending Yuriko back to the command zone, and Justin passes. Ryan plays another Swamp for turn before recasting his commander. Foil plays his land for turn to pay 6 to cast a Massacre Worm. The sin gives all his opponent's creatures minus 2 minus 2 and deals 2 damage to each of his opponents when the creatures die. This then wipes the board of most of the creatures while doing significant damage to each of Foil's opponents. Foil then swings his Ink Eyes at Fog while he swings Alhambra at Justin. Fog then blocks but still takes 2 damage while Justin gets taken out of the game. Fog plays a Snow Covered Swamp for turn that casts a Sigil of Miracle, which then gets countered by Foil with a Drown in the Lock, saving him from dying. Fog then casts a Blighted Agent and guarantees himself second place by taking Ryan out with his commander. Fog then knows he's dead on Foil's next turn, so he concedes the game to Foil. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more games and decks you wouldn't normally see in your average meta.